to the 50th day of school. We have been in school for 50 times since we started in August. Our brains are 50 days smarter. I am so excited. Today's just going to be a really fun day. We're going to talk about things that were from a long, long time ago, okay? Uh, it's going to be fun. Max is wearing his blue jeans rolled up and his white shirt with the sleeves rolled up because he's ready for the 50th day of school. This is what little boys and, well, boys, men, wore a long time ago when it was 1950. Hey, let's go ahead and check our schedule so we can get started. The first thing we're going to do is fast counter time. And then at center time, we're going to find out what did things look like a long, long time ago. And then it'll be time to say goodbye. Okay, let's do our body check and we'll get started. Put your listening ears in. Mm -hmm. Put your looking eyes in. Mm -hmm. Put your brain in. Mm -hmm. We are ready to learn, learn, learn. I'm going to turn on the smart board because I can't wait to find out about our calendar time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here I go. So let's take a look. We know that the month is October. The month is October. And in October, we've been learning about so many things. That's why our brains are getting so smart. We've been learning about something that's changing. Uh -huh. A tree. We know a tree is changing. Uh -huh. And what's happening to the leaves? They're falling down. And then we also learned about a place with lots of trees all together. We've been learning about a forest. And then what lives in the forest? Something that's a very large and says, Urgh. a bear. Um, something that is much smaller and lives in a tree. A squirrel. And we've also been learning about something with feathers that lives in the forest. And does this animal does it fly around at nighttime when it's dark or daytime when it's sunny? It's an owl and it flies around at night. So let's take a look. Yesterday was Wednesday and Wednesday is finished. Today is Thursday and we know that we have 29 days in October. Wow! Well, there's only one, two days left, and then October is finished. And we know today's our special day. It's the 50th day of school. Yeah, that is exciting. That is exciting. Um, let's go ahead and check our schedule. Fast calendar time. We did it. Calendar time is finished. Calendar time is finished. Now it's time for center time. Okay, we need to find out some information. We need to find out what it was like a long, long, long time ago. This would probably be a, about the time older than your grandparents. Yeah, older than your papas and your um, ma, uh, grandmas and your nanas and your pops. Older than your grandparents. Yes. Yes. That old. So, let's find out what it was like a very long time ago. I'm going to turn on the smart board and we're going to look at some pictures that's going to give us more information. I do think that I'm going to try to move the camera closer to the smart board so we can see it really well. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's try that. I want you to see these pictures super well. So here we go. 
Okay. okay. Right, here we go. So let me show you a picture. Right, this is a picture of a car from a long, long time ago when the year was 1950. That's the year, 1950, a very long time ago. This is what a car looks like now. Right now, our year is 2020. You can see that these numbers are smaller than these numbers. Whoa, 2020. Who cars look differently. Okay, let's look for some more things. This is a TV. This is a TV. A long, long time ago, the TVs looked like this. And the picture was only in colors black and white. You didn't see red and green and blue and purple. No, the TV picture was only in black and white. That was a long, long time ago when it was 1950. Yeah. Now, let's take a look at what TVs look like now. <gasps> TVs now are so big and they're not thick, they're very thin. And we can see lots of colors on our TVs. Yeah, this is what TVs look like now. Yeah. This was a long, long time ago. It happened in the past. This is right now. Okay, do you want to see some more things? Hey, right, let's do it. Guess what this is? That's a telephone. This is a telephone. It was so big. You couldn't put it in your pocket. No. And all you could do was talk on it. Yeah, you could not watch movies on it. Nope. You could not play games on it. No. All you could do was talk on it. And how you did it was you had to pick this part up and hold it at your ear in your mouth and then your finger had to put, had to go in the circle and you had to, uh, that's how you called people with their phone numbers. Yeah, that was a long, long time ago. This is what phones look like right now. Whew, they're small and you can put them in your pocket yeah. and they play games. You can look at the computer on your phone. You can write messages to people, text messages. Whoa, phones are very different now. Do you want to see more? Let's do it. This is what McDonald's looked like a long, long time ago. That's McDonald's. Yeah, and look, it said that a hamburger cost 15 cents. Oh, that's much different. That's very different. Now, let's take a look at our McDonald's now. They look different. It's not the same. It's different. And now, hamburgers cost about $2. Yeah, it's a lot more money now. Look, this is the clothes that children wore a long, long time ago. Yeah, little boys sometimes wore shorts with a suit. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, and the little girls wore fluffy dresses. Yeah, and they even wore something on their hands. Let me go show you one second. Little girls and women, grown-ups, grown-up girls, they would wear 
little, they would wear gloves on their hands. Yeah, they would wear, these are little girl gloves. They would wear gloves on their hands, not to keep their hands warm. No, they wore them because that's what they did a long, long time ago. Yeah, and men wore hats on their heads whenever they went out. Yeah, yeah, it's different. We do not wear hats all the time and girls do not wear gloves all the time. This is what kids can wear now. We wear things that, you know, are easy to play in. Now, this is what a school looked like a long, long time ago. Yeah, and if you look, they did, they did art, and we still do art. Yeah, they sit at their tables and play with toys. We still play with toys. Look, here's our classroom right now. Yeah, that some things are still the same. Wow, kids still learn and still play a, a lot of same ways from a long, long time ago. Whoa, that was really interesting. Hey, I'm gonna go move the uh, camera just a little bit back and then let's keep talking, okay? So, we learned what things looked like a long, long time ago. Let me show you a little bit more. Um, I have a car. This is a pretend car, but this is what a car looked like a long, long time ago. They were very long. Yeah. This car is called a convertible. It did not have the top of the car on it. So when you were riding down the road, the wind would blow your hair. Look, that is a car from a long, long time ago. Let me show you something else. This is a radio from a long, long time ago. Yeah, you would just listen to your music. Yeah, you just listen. But you did not have headphones or earbuds. You just listened and everybody heard your music. Yeah. Okay, you want to see one more thing? Okay, this is called a record, uh -huh, and it played music. This is how people had music a long time ago. Whew, it's really big. You cannot put this in your pocket. You remember our record player in our classroom? I'm going to get it out. Yeah, here's our record player. Mm -hmm. And when you open it up, and remember how it plays music? Let's listen. Let's listen to some music from a long, long time ago. I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see. Uh-oh, Miss McWayne has to change the speed. I think this is the one I need. I'm gonna turn the volume up. That is really neat. 
You know what? That's what they would say a long time ago. They'd say, oh, that's so nifty. That's so neat. You know, it's fun to have a day like this because it just gives us an idea of things that are different and things that are the same. And it's really cool to know what things were like a long, long time ago. So today, just have fun. Um, I'll put some songs on um, our Canvas account and just listen to them, dance it out, have fun. You could also pretend to make ice cream sodas. Yeah, ice cream milkshakes if you want to. You could use pom-poms. You could uh, make ice cream, pretend to make ice cream. Yeah, because people would like to go to the ice cream shop and eat ice creams and milkshakes. It was really fun. Whoa, today's just a fun day. A fun day to just talk and find out what things were like a long, long time ago. Okay, so let's check our schedule and let's, oh, there is an idea. I just thought of something. If you wanted to find 50 things at your house, you could find out how much the number 50 is. Mm -hmm. You might like find 50 pieces of paper or 50 beans or 50 cotton balls. Yeah, you could just find out how much is the number 50. You know what? Let me write that number down so we can see what that number looks like too. Hang on one second. So the number 50 looks like this, a five and a zero makes the number 50. You could find 50 things at your house and you can know what the number 50 looks like. How much is 50? So wow. We talked about so many things today at Center Time because we have been in school for 50 days. Um, Max, come on over and check your schedule. Um, he's tr I think I'm sitting on it. <laughs> uh, at Center Time today, we talked about what things looked like a long, long time ago when it was 1950 and what things look like now. And things look a lot different. Center Time is finished and now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye friends. Have a wonderful 50th day of school and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye friends.